welcome back to my channel. For those of you new here, hi, my name is Meg, and today I'm going to be filming a Valentine's Day look. So this is not necessary look for those people who only have dates on this special day, but you can wear this to your family dinner or your dinner with your friends or even just a lunch with your friends or if you have somewhere special to go to or even just to treat yourself and just to make you feel like better. So yeah, I'm just gonna be doing that look for you guys today. So this is not a really really glam look because I am no beauty guru and I do not know much about like eyeshadow and all I'm still learning I'm in the process of learning and I really really love doing eyeshadow but I'm not necessarily really good at it so yeah um, I just decided to film this video because I didn't edit yung Christmas vacation ko in Manila I'm still gonna upload that kahit na super super late na and hindi ko rin na, na -e edit pa yung haul ko from that trip. Um, I was supposed to upload that like on this day. Kasi lang naisip ko magba Valentine's na. And I'm not gonna want to upload this on Valentine's Day because that's going to be super late. So I just decided to upload this first bago yung mga previous videos ko pa. And guys, I've been so busy with school, kaya hindi ko pa na-upload yung ibang videos ko. Cause school is so demanding right now. Cause we're graduating, hopefully. <laughs> so yeah, that's why I'm not like always here on my channel. And I'm super sorry, pero once the school year is over, I'm gonna upload more and more and more. So anyway, without further ado, let's get on to the video. So first, we're gonna start with the base because I do not know how people can like do their eyeshadows first bago mag base. So, mag base na tayo. So, for the base, I'm not gonna use any primer, but I'm just gonna use this one from the face shop. This is the Air Cotton Makeup Base. I've used this before sa new makeup thing ko. Um, kanti lang. Gusto ko lang ma illuminate yung face ko na. Uh, and we're just gonna blend this in our skin. You can actually mix this with your foundation. But if your foundation is way too light for you, you don't add beshi because it's gonna be like super duper light. I've tried mixing this with my other foundation, and my foundation is too light for me now. So do not mix it with your foundation if you already don't have the foundation color that's right for you. Next, we're gonna proceed with foundation. Ito pa rin yung ginagamit ko when there are special occasions. Pero I still use my Makeup for Everyone if medyo hindi ganun ka dry yung skin ko. Because every time I use that and my skin is super dry, it's not good. So I'm just gonna mix the H&M Custom Color Drops with my foundation. And foundation ko pala is 120 Classic Ivory and this is not my shade. Super duper light sa <laughs> So, I'm just gonna add two drops na to dito. So, I just placed one and a half pump sa likod ko. But if you guys have very, very nice skin, I actually went to an event. I forgot what it was. I feel like it was a birthday. And I used and eyeshadow. Pero hindi ako nag foundation because I don't really like using foundation. I hate foundation. Um, I just use it because minsan kailangan talaga na mag foundation na ganon. Pero if I can avoid foundation, I am gonna avoid foundation. If you guys have a very nice skin, I highly recommend yung Face Republic na BB cream. It doesn't settle that much on lines, although it still sets on my spine lines. But it doesn't set as bad as foundation. And if you don't really have like many many skin problems, um, I highly suggest you guys skip the foundation if you have very fair skin. I mean, if you have like not fair, um, if you have like parang even naman yung skin nyo, I highly suggest you just use concealer under your eyes just to brighten up that area. Tapos mag eyeshadow na lang kayo agad. Cause I did that and it still went amazing. 
maganda yung ano guys like hindi nagfa foundation i don't know personal preference na lang rin cuz i personally don't enjoy foundation cuz i don't like how it feels on my skin but i just did my foundation because video to pero if ito video i would definitely definitely skip the foundation and just use concealer and eyeshadow na kagad anyways i'm going to be using this um Sponge. Eh, para siyang Juno and Co. Na sponge. Pero this is from O2. O.2.0. I don't know how you pronounce that brand. O2.0. I feel like. Pero yeah, you can find it in um, Shopee. I got this from Shopee. 99 pesos ko lang tong nabili. Um, it was on sale. And it's really, really nice. The only thing that I don't really necessarily like about this is that natatanggal yung fibers niya which shouldn't happen kasi I wanted to try the Juno and Co one kaso lang guys hindi ako willing mag spend ng 500 or more sa sponge I'm willing to pay around 150 lang cause it's just a sponge at the end of the day but yeah if you're really curious, there are a lot of brands that already do this. Actually, there are independent sellers online that already like have their own version of the Juno and Co. I'm not sure if the Juno and Co. is original, but I feel like it is. So as you can see, it's still quite light to my skin, but it's already good. And this doesn't waste that much product, I feel like. And it gives the skin a very very airbrushed finish I also really like that foundation kasi pag hindi masyadong maganda yung skin ko it really covers the certain areas I need to cover okay but mind you madali tong mag dry so like it still blends but it's it dries out easily so now I'm just gonna highlight my face I'm I'm gonna use my Fit Me in the shade Sand under my eyes. So, I'm gonna do a V. I'm gonna invert the triangle. I don't know if some people use this technique still, cause that na pinapon ako na video hindi na nila ginagawa to pero pinigaw ko si kulang yung flex kinagan ganon lang. And then I'm gonna add itong Instant Age Rewind in the shade. What is this? I feel like this is the lightest shade. Yeah, Ivory. I'm not sure anything lightest, but I feel like this is. And I just use this. Dito, lagay ko lang dyan. And we're gonna blend that all out. Okay, so that is it all blended in. If feeling nyo like kulang pa yung coverage sa under eyes, you can definitely add more coverage to it. But I'm already okay with how that looks like. I really like this. Ngayon ko lang to ginamit for foundation and it sinks into the skin so, so nicely. And then for setting or baking our face, I'm gonna use this Coty Airspun and Translucent Extra Coverage. I really, really like this powder. I'm not bothered by the scent. Some people really hate the scent. I really love the scent of it. So, I'm just gonna put that under eyes. And I cleaned all my sponges and all my brushes for today's video. I'm gonna there now so these fresh name brushes. <laughs> I'm also gonna put some on my nose because product rarely holds or stay put on my nose. Like, hindi ko makapet yung product sa ilong ko. And then also on my smile lines. This foundation doesn't necessarily really settle sa fine lines ko. 
Wala na nasa smile lines ko, pero para lang sure. So this always happens to me, like I keep on smiling and smiling and laughing. Tapos pagpunta ko ng banyo, pagcheck ko sa mirror, my god. Yung smile lines ko, besh. Okay, now that I'm done baking my face, I am going to like dust away itong mga lines lines na yan kasi usually pag naiiwan siya, nag-leave na siya ng mark dyan. So, babrush ko lang yung edges. Kasi yung magpanda eyes. Okay. Now that we are lifeless, later na tayo sa face. Focus muna tayo sa eyes. So, I'm gonna zoom you in a little. Okay. So, as you can see, hindi talaga pantay yung kulay ng leg ko sa aking face. But in real life, guys, I swear, pantay naman siya. Palantay akong espasol right now because I think of the powder. Pero once we're gonna color up our face, um, it's all gonna be good. So, I'm just gonna use itong Maybelline Sand Black as an eyeshadow primer. I don't really have any primers because I don't want to buy it. I feel like it doesn't. I don't know. I feel like man. Marami kasi yung nagsasabi na it's just a beauty scam. Pero I haven't really tried a primer that's really really good yet. Like not yet. But I really want to try yung the ordinary primer. Because there are a lot of reviews about them and it's affordable only. It's only $500, guys. I really want to do a review thing na naman kaso lang wala pa tayong pera pang review. <laughs> and I'm busy with school, so this, this na lang muna. So, after that, I'm gonna do my eyeshadow na. Pero bago yan, Snap break na tayo. I wish, you know, sponsor to ng mga I mean, who doesn't love mga huwan? Okay, now that we're done with our snap break, um, I'm gonna do my eyeshadow na. Um, I don't really set my eyes after ko lagyan ng concealer cause feel ko mas lumalabas yung color if hindi siya sineset with translucent powder or powder. So, I have three palettes with me. I have the Morphe 352. I have the ColourPop Pretty Much and the ColourPop Designer. So, first, dun muna tayo sa ColourPop Designer. Um, just saying, this is not a really, really mataas na level na glam. Um, this is just a very simple glam. We're more of a simple eye, bold lip. Yun yung goal ng look na to. So basically, the goal of this makeup look is just a very simple eye and a bold lip. So, I'm gonna use tong palette na to from Colourpop. Um, it looks so nice. Ito yung Disney collection nila. And I'm just gonna take this brush. I mean, it's not brushes ka ngayon. Oh my gosh, I'm so proud. So, I'm gonna take the shade Chip, which is this one. Hindi ako magaling mag-describe ng colors. Sir, like anything that's almost the same to your lid color is good enough. I'm gonna move to my Morphe palette. Itong 352 and I'm gonna take the shade Universal which is this one and ilalagay ko lang siya dito ang part na to. Hindi ko alam if crease ba yung tawag to. I feel like it's a called a crease. I'm gonna use the same brush lang. This is super pigmented you guys. Okay, now that that's all on there, 
gagamitin ko na naman yung next yung shade na orb which is this and ilalagay ko lang siya sa outer outer corner ng aking eyes and then I'm gonna use um, a small brush After that, public tayo dito sa Disney palette. We're gonna get Abu. Itong pinaka-dark sa first row. I'm just gonna use the same. Oh no, I'm just gonna use the same. I'm gonna use ito. Medyo shame lang. Shame. Medyo same lang sila na shape. But this one packs on the color so nicely. Um, next, I'm gonna go into the shade, the shade Terracotta, which is this one. Ito. And I'm gonna use the same brush lang. I know it's a sin to use the same brush, but I am using the same brush this, so... So I'm gonna go back sa brush na to. Hindi ako magdip sa kahit anong color. I-blend ko lang itong outer. Okay. This is like more of like an RNG brownie vibe. So, I'm gonna dip into the shade Spice, which is this one. Um... Just gonna use this brush as well. Just lagay ko lang siya dito. So, next thing I'm gonna use is itong Pretty Much Palette. I love this palette. Ito gagamitin ko tong shade na to. Hindi ko alam if ito ba yung Nevermind or ito yung It Me. Pero this shade, this is very nice. And I'm gonna use Itong brush na to. Ito yung Real Techniques na Central Crease Brush. Just gonna dip into this. And lalagay ko to sa inner, guys. And then, I'm just gonna use the same brush and go into Triton, which is from the Disney palette. And ilalagay ko siya in between yung galing sa pretty much palette and some more face. So, blend ko lang yun together. Okay, so to define the features, um, I'm gonna use Tong in the zone na shade from the Morphe palette. This one. Tapos, is the stamp ko siya sa outer. Wait, I'm just gonna change. I'm gonna use. I'm gonna finish this look using the. I know this palette because I really really love this palette so I'm just gonna finish this look using palette ito. I'm gonna be using the shade Beast. Maganda to guys. Like it has glitter on the pan but you can really see the glitter once it's on there. So all I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna stamp it here. I'm gonna blend it later with a different brush. Okay, I am pleased with that. If gusto niyo pa define pa more, can get into this color ito. Midnight car, midnight curfew. Lagyan ko lang ng isa. Pat ko lang lightly para lang mas so now I'm gonna take 
a very very dense like basically packing brush plus um fix plus lang so ito yung variant na ginamit ko yung fix plus na matte and we are gonna take the shade um we're gonna take the shade enchanted rose ilalagay natin siya dito sa buong man sa buong lid talaga pero like sa inner portion going to the middle so this is a very pretty shade Nice. And you like it, you can actually get to the logo. Okay, now that I'm done with pink, I'm going to get a little bit of brush. Then we will go into this. Itong one kiss, itong gold na. Napaka nice din. And ilalagay natin yan. Dito sa my middle banda. Wala tayo na ganitong brush. Tapos Tapos, kukunin ko lang itong same brush na to. And I'm gonna get this one. I really love this. This is from H&M. Ito yung Chin Chin na shade na eyeshadow. I love this. Like, super love this. This is everything. It's like a champagne na medyo clear base. I'm gonna put it some middle just to give like light portion again. I don't know if you guys can still get the shade, pero ang ganda. Let me swatch it for you. Super creamy, pa guys. So this is it on my finger. Watch. See, that is so beautiful. I love H&M products. Like, super ganda ng makeup goods nila. So, yeah. That is it for our eye look. Um, Minisin lang natin yung hands natin. I'm just gonna dust the bake away. So, I'm gonna get the shade Triton. And mix it with Abu. Just the shade beside it. And basically just add color to the lower lash. I'm gonna get a very, very manifest na brush. And we're gonna dip into Abu and this. Super light lang. Tapos, lalagay ako ng chin-chin sa inner part. Para lang mag-illuminate siya. Ito na yung inner corner. Highlight natin. For the eyebrows, I'm not gonna do anything special. I do not like doing my eyebrows. Because I already like the shape of my eyebrows and I don't want change the shape of my eyebrows. Ko, so I am just going to use a brow mascara. I don't have any brow mascara so I'm just borrowing my mom's like, Chris Aquino brow liner which has a brow mascara sa kabilang dulo. So ito lang yung gagamitin ko. Because I'm still contemplating as to what kind of brow mascara I'm going to buy. So I'm just going to run through my hair just very very lightly okay so I'm already good with that I don't really have any like issues with my eyebrows so I really like 
how that looks like just natural so I'm gonna zoom you out and continue with the rest of my face okay so now we are gonna contour our face and for contouring I'm gonna use my favorite contouring bottle probably the only one I ever have ito yung wet and wild mega glow contouring palette in the shade dolce de leche so I'm gonna use an angle brush just gonna dip into the shade. This is super powdery, so be very careful with it. And see how that how pigmented that is? It's pigmented but it's soft. I don't really want a contour kung saan pagagay mo palang ato na agad because that's hard to work with. <laughs> then we're gonna put satin jaw. And then of course the Then we're also gonna use a bronzer to warm up our face even more and I'm gonna use this one from H&M. This is the Spotlight Glow Powder Sunset Bronze and I'm gonna use a very very big fluffy brush like yung super fluffy na feeling mo wala siyang kakapitan pero I really like using super duper fluffy brushes like this for bronzers para hindi ganun ka intense yung pag warm niya na face That is it for the bronzer. I should have set, I should have powdered my face bago ko ginawa yung bronzer and all. Pero I'm just gonna skip that part since I don't feel like my skin needs the powder because it's quite matte. But anyways, if I was supposed to use a powder, I was gonna use this one, itong Clear Smooth All-in-One in the shade for Honey. So sana yung gagamitin ko sa face ko. For our blush, I'm gonna use something I haven't used on camera yet, I feel. The color chic eye and cheek pressed pigment. The Zola na blush na colorette. This is super, super nice. This is like kind of Nars orgasm, but deeper, like less pinkier, cause it has very, very, very beautiful gold. Next, and I'm gonna use my favorite blush brush just this and we're gonna super pigmented guys like you can see it in intense yung kapit niya sa brush and this is super pigmented so we're just gonna smile and just press it in going up can you already see the difference i don't know if i can see on camera but in real life, the difference is definitely there. Like a... You can also use this for your eyeshadow. Maganda to pang drunk blush, guys. I always use this to school for like mga drunk blush. Pa etchos. So. Oh, again, for our contour, I have contour nose, ko, diba? So, I didn't actually contour nose ko maayos. So I just get whatever is excess and just do that because I'm too lazy. And whenever I focus on contouring my nose, it doesn't really end up well. For highlight, I'm gonna use Bago ko highlight yung high points of my face, I'm gonna highlight all over my face using the Essence Pure Nude Highlighter. I like like just spreading it all over my face. It gives such a wonderful glow. I'm just gonna use itong looking fan brush. I'm just gonna spread it all over.
after ko is spread yon, I'm gonna proceed with highlighting the highest points of my face using like this has been my favorite highlighter for December and January. Ito yung Kilowatt Lighting Dust Fire Crystal na Duo. Ito tong Fenty swatch natin. Hindi siya ganun ka-intense sa swatch, pero on the face it looks so nice. Okay, so intense siya. So, ito yung hindi masyadong strong, which is lightning dust. So, ito si lightning dust, ito si fire crystal. Medyo may pagka whitey, pinky, champagne color siya. So, yeah. I've been loving this. I've been loving this so, so much. I mix both and apply it on the highest point of my face. And it just gives you that very beautiful glare. Now I'm just gonna set the face with the Fix Plus. And then I'm gonna wait for this to dry. Then apply my mascara. Naglagay na ako ng lip balm. And ito yung Carmex. I don't really like it. Not a fan of it. Okay, so the mascara that I use is itong Total Temptations na waterproof. I really love this. And ito yung wand niya. Time for the lips. So the lip product that I have been loving and using for quite a lot is itong Super Stay Matte Ink ng Maybelline and this is in the shade 245 Seeker. This is such a beautiful color and guys, I highly recommend itong product na to sa inyo because um, this is sponsored by the way. Um, ito ay super duper long lasting. When I say long lasting, it's gonna stay with you forever. As in forever. Ang hirap niyang tanggalin sa lips as in it's super duper everything proof. Like, I ate a lot when I used this sa Manila. Hindi natanggal. And I bought two other colors. I usually use that on weekends. Tapos, every time kumakain ako ng super duper dami, hindi talaga siya natatanggal. You know, it stays and sticks with you forever. So, this is very perfect for this season. Kasi, it's prom season, it's date season, and all. So, if you're going to prom, and... Usually kasi, like, naranasan ko yun eh. Nagpa-prom pa rin yung makakain ng maayos. Kasi, like, dapat naka matino yung pagbuka ng bibig mo cause matatanggal yung lipstick mo, beshi. So, eto hindi to matatanggal. If may date ka and you're scared na matatanggal yung lipstick mo and you're gonna not look as confident as you would want to, this is not gonna go anywhere. And also, if you're getting married or kahit ano pang special occasion na you, na you would just want to have lipstick on all the time without any reapplication. This is perfect. Especially for people who are always on the go. So this is not necessarily a very Valentine red color, pero this is a bold color which is nice for like And the look is done. So that is it for today's video. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. Um, so this is the final look. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and liked how it turned out. I really, really love this look. Super duper nice siya pang go out for Valentine's. Like, super duper perfect. And I really, really love this look. So, I hope I can get to do this again when I need to or when it is necessary. So, yeah. I really enjoyed doing this look. So, I hope you guys also enjoyed it. Also, if gusto niyo mag, mag liner 
go lang. Hindi lang kasi tayo magaling magliner, so I don't bother. But yeah, I really love how this turned out. Again, kaya nako sila sabi. But anyway, hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please give this video a thumbs up. Leave a comment down below if you have any suggestions and any comments. And subscribe to my channel. Give this video a thumbs up and share this with your friends if you haven't already. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed and I'll see you in my next video.